I think what what would socialists would have done different? As we know that when the COVID came, everyone says that uh, uh, the rich and poor were all in the same boat because uh, COVID affected everyone, but not necessarily. If socialists we were there, uh, what would be different is that we would have stressed on the basic necessities of the people. That in times of either the climate crisis or in times of a pandemic, people would have fed well much much better. I mean the basic things. I think in terms of wages, we should have given them proper wages. With wages, they would have at least have some kind of savings that even though they lose their jobs, they would have been able to survive until they go for they they able to get a new income. So that's very important. Wages. What kind of wages? Uh, socialists would have fought for and would have implemented. They would have raised the minimum wage. The other thing is also on the importance for food security. We have seen that during the COVID, when borders were closed, if your country you you relied on uh, food imports and then your food imports were cut and then there's a high cost to it, what would have happened? So what happened to food sovereignty here? We should have relied. If you look at Malaysia, majority of the lands being used for commodity crops, not for food crops. So where is the land for food production? So here is again that the socialists would have done much things much prep, uh, much better, preparing people for the worst. The other thing is also in terms of social protection. If you lose jobs, do you have an insurance? Do you will you have a pension to survive? How in terms of other cost of a livelihood, in terms of education, do you have a proper social protection? I think this is very important. And PSM, I think uh, we were able to. Get involved in a campaign to make sure at least we people have an employment insurance scheme. This is a campaign that we have been done doing for a very long time, and, and when the COVID struck, at least this scheme was in place to help out people. Housing is a big thing. How can you talk about social uh, distancing when people, the poor people, are living in the cramped up uh, housing? Most of the poor people in Malaysia are living in pigeonholes. You know, 650 square feet. Uh, five a family of five and you ask them to do social distancing no and most of the cases we find in this kind of dense highly dense uh, populations where there's actually no way that you can do uh, uh, social distancing so if you really provided proper housing for people something which is affordable and uh, it's comfortable and there's more rooms and everything so this would have been possible and the last i think uh, as many have stated healthcare If the government, a socialist government, pays more attention to public healthcare, build more hospitals, and not just let the private sector be a so-called public-private uh, partnership to provide healthcare to the people, and until today, even in Malaysia, we find is that even after a year when COVID has struck, the private sector is still so reluctant to take in COVID cases. They are giving all kinds of excuses, and the whole burden. The public hospitals were overflowing here in in, in uh, most of the bigger cities in Malaysia, and even after a year, they keep giving the same excuses. So I think this is where the socialists would have done something uh, different, where we would have at least taken care of the base necessities of the people. I think if you talk about examples, uh, Cuba is one example, a country under sanctions, under embargo, under so much of economic stress, and yet they were able to put the money where it's properly needed. To develop healthcare, to develop their vaccines, and that has proven not only beneficial to them, but throughout the world, where they were sending the medical brigades, the doctors were going throughout the world to help out. So here is where the socialists have a completely different perspective of development, where they put the model, where they put the money, where it's actually needed. And even if you look at examples in Kerala, those were the states which uh, benefited. Uh, or they fed well uh, during the pandemic in India, uh, Kerala under the CPIM. The healthcare was fully mobilized. They were able to supply the people with uh, food, with uh, oxygen tanks. So there's a there's a very clear difference here that we can find that how socialists would have handled this this these issues much much better. And that is why that while we campaign for these measures, we need to again and again tell that this capitalist model cannot go on any longer because. The next crisis will be a climate crisis. There will be a lot of migration happening. There will be a lot of climate refugees happening. And what are we going to do? So this is uh, a catastrophe which is coming, and we really need to seriously move on to a new economic system because mankind will not survive more crises like this. Thanks.